Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to get uh, the wooden look on your uh, garage doors or your main doors. Okay, so there's two type of two type of paint that you can get. Uh, one of them is uh, this one right here, Behar, Marquis. It's a little bit more expensive paint, and uh, this is the color code for that. And uh, I ran out of this, and they don't usually make a quarter uh, gallons, so I just needed a little bit of paint. So what I end up doing was just getting this one and ask him to match uh, the code for a marquee so I can get the exact same color. And this is what they match it up to. It's a little bit different code, but uh, the end result is the same. Uh, the code is different because it's a different type of uh, paint that I'm getting. So if you're getting uh, the marquee uh, and one gallon is enough for you, just use this one. And if you want a shorter gallon for trying something different, then you can get this particular code which will give you the exact same look. If you look at the mixture, it looks a little bit purplish, um, but once it, it starts drying, you can really see the difference that it does give you that wooden look. Uh, so basically, you just need a brush to apply it, and uh, this is the project that I'm doing, and uh, this was my old paint. It was not exterior, and you can see it came off, so I end up getting the exterior mix, so it's uh, durable, and does not get messed up from the sunlight. It's better if you apply your strokes in one position and not go back and forth because it's going to give you a random look. Uh, just make sure you stay consistent throughout the door. It's going to give you a nice finish uh, look. Now, one thing I do is when I'm doing the inside, I kind of give it like a little bit pattern look. So it gives you a little bit good contrast when you have straight lines throughout the door and then you have these. It just makes it look appear a little bit better. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying this. You can also use a roller uh, if you want a smooth, nice and smooth look. Or if you don't want a brush look, you might be better off using a roller. It'll give you a nice even look on the entire door. So it's totally up to your, up, up, up your choice. You know what exactly you're looking for. If you're looking for a stroke like this, then it's better with the brush. And uh, just make sure you uh, what I uh, just sand your uh, surface before you do anything, because the better the surface is, the more cleaner, the better the paint is. Okay, guys, so this is just after one coat, and it's not even dried yet. You can see it's a little bit wet from top, but uh, at the bottom it starts to dry. So this is just one coat, and uh, you can already see the wooden look that's coming up. So I'm just gonna finalize it um, with the second coat. So I'm gonna do the second door. Just wanted to show it to you guys real quick what it looks like. This is the final result. Um, I missed a spot right there, but I'll fix that later on. Um, and as you can see, if I get closer, get that wooden look, the texture. And again, uh, I have to do some retouching, so that will happen to you uh, if you're if you have not applied the coat properly. So I just have to use a brush to fill those gaps. But uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll show you guys my garage real quick. So that's it guys.